hi, welcome to This Old Nerd. I am This Old Nerd, I as Akhtar. So let's say you have one of these things, maybe two of these things, maybe one of these gigantic, massive things I have around me, and we call that a house, maybe you have an apartment, whatever you have, it's fine with me. Just because you've managed to settle down and just because you have an apartment or a house or a condo that you love, your tech life isn't over. In fact, it's just beginning. Your tech life is about to take off because here at This Old Nerd, we're gonna explain to you how to make sure your house is the most tech forward house on the block. So today, we are gonna be focusing on wiring up your house with Cat6 Ethernet cable. Now, how would you go about getting that information? Sure, you can go online and try to find a guide or you could do like what I did and ask a friend of mine who was an IT professional, hey, Scott, and he would say, what? i say, hey, Scott, how exactly do I set this up? So he did me a favor, created a guide, put it on his blog, and we're gonna use that as his actual model to uh, wire up our house. The main things you're gonna need for this project, a drill, a pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, a crimper tool to actually put modular plugs on this giant box of cable. Well, you don't need to put on the giant box of cable, but only for your run of cable. This is way cheaper than pre-made cable and this is a great project. Now what you're gonna find out about this entire endeavor is that preparation is key, okay? Preparation and knowing what you're going to do is so much more important than the actual execution. You have to have a plan. Now in this house, we figured out something. We're going to need an eight port switch in the middle of the house over there by the stairs. This is the middle of our home here. And from there, all the other cables come off of. Now that might sound crazy, but most of the connections we need are actually near that part of the house. It may be different for you. Maybe you just want all your cables in one location. There's no need to centralize the location unless you actually want to. Again, if you're going to go into an unfinished basement like we have here, it's very easy, right? So you're taking a look, you can see that we have some cables over there and they're actually tied down with these staples. This is electrical, but you understand the idea. If you have a bunch of cables, do what you can to actually lock them down. You don't want them moving, you don't want to pull them out, you don't want to damage anything. It's probably in your best interest to make sure that you don't have cables being ripped out by some little, I don't know, kid or something, right? Also, while you're in this basement or a crawl space or whatever it is, take a look at where certain items are. We have steam running through some of these pipes when the winter's here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your cable doesn't touch that, you don't want it melting. And if you're going to put things in the wall, Make sure that the cable you use is rated for in-wall use. If you use another kind of cable, it may not work. It might not be able to handle the heat and all kinds of changes in the house. We at This Old Nerd take no responsibility for what you do with this information. Please, please, if you're going to play with power tools and you're gonna be doing any of this stuff, use your common sense and be safe, okay? We're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna go and put some holes in the hardwood floor. Now, your partner may not like that, because, you know, let's face it, you always have to deal with the partner acceptance rating. Okay, either you're getting a thumbs up or a thumbs down, or maybe a thumbs in the middle, and that means you haven't pissed them off entirely. Your partner may be your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your job, I don't care what you're married to. The fact is, if they're not happy, and the technology you put in the house pisses them off, you're not gonna be able to get away with it. Just trust me on that one. Anyway, when we go ahead and test this and we go up these very stairs, we're gonna show you how to put in a, a little hookup in a closet. We're gonna go into a little closet, we're gonna test it out there, because if it fails, nobody's gonna know. And when it doesn't fail, because you're watching this old nerd, you'll be able to go and brazenly put an ethernet jack anywhere. Just don't put it in the middle of the room, okay? I've thought of the idea, it's theoretically awesome, but somebody's gonna trip, that's not a good idea. Don't, don't put it in the middle of the room. Let's go upstairs and have some fun. All right, now normally I clean out the closet before I go ahead and do something like this, but you know what? Let's get crazy. So we got our drill, we got a spot in the closet, and we're gonna go do this. And it's already done. Piece of cake. Now we'll show you what it actually looks like. There's a hole in the corner of this closet. So in case we screwed up, nobody's gonna notice. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in our ethernet cable and we'll go right to the basement. All right, let's string a bunch of it down there so hopefully when we get down there, we'll be able to go ahead and pull the cable. Now we're back in the basement, we're gonna find where our cable came out and we're gonna go ahead and make an end. And I think we got it here, good. And 
bingo. So let's go to a nice spot where we got some good lighting so we can actually go ahead and show you how to actually put the end on this thing. We've got our cable, and so there's gonna be a couple of things we're gonna to have to do. Step one, we have to unsheath the cable. So you're gonna take your crimper, and you see it's got a razor there. We're gonna actually place the cable through, you know, about an inch there, and then we're going to turn the crimper. This should create a nice little cut. We're gonna rip this right off. So we've taken off the sheath, and now we have a bunch of twisted pairs. We're gonna to have to untwist these. All right, so now we've untwisted the pairs, but you can see that the wires are pretty crinkly. So what I suggest you do is take a screwdriver, like I have here, and just run the cables on the screwdriver. So what this is going to do is straighten out the cable, and this is gonna help you pull the cable through the guide. Next, we're gonna actually put these cables in the order that they need to go into the actual plug. Now they're roughly in the order we need them to be. We have the orange and white, orange, green and white, blue, blue and white, green, brown and white, and brown. Now our plugs have two pieces. We have a guide and an actual plug. Now what we're going to do is take this guide, you can see it has tiny little holes in it. We're going to string our cables through this, then we're gonna put this guide into this plug. We're gonna string these wires through this guide. Now this may be tricky to see because, well, it's some fine work, but we'll show you how it works. Start with the orange and white. Now you can see the orange and white through the guide. Now we're gonna put the orange in, that's the top. Now these guides actually have two rows, if you can see that. There's a top and a bottom row. And, um, well, you are alternating. So the orange and white goes on the bottom, followed by the orange, which goes on the top. So now you may see me put this together in fast motion. Okay, now we have our cables through our actual guide. Remember, the order is very important. Now we're going to neaten this up. So we're going to take our pliers. We're going to grab one end of our cables. And we're going to hold the guide. And we're going to pull... Nice and neat. We want the guide as close to the sheath as you can get it. We should mention this, by the way. You might want to take a look around where you cut the sheath. Make sure there's no actual nicks in the wire, because that's going to damage the actual integrity of the cable. So what we're going to do now, now that we've neatened this up, we're going to cut off these excess ends with our pair of scissors. All right, so now we have a nice trim set of cables inside our guide. Very nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the guide inside the actual plug. You might have to squish the, the sheath so it fits in there. But you're going to see this go right, right in there. So you can see that. Now we've got our plug and our guide. Now we need to crimp this down. This is why we have a crimper. So we place the plug into the crimper. We're going to push down. You're going to hear a nice crinkle sound. And you should be able to try to pull this. If it doesn't come off, you've done a good job. If it comes off, try again. All you gotta do is repeat the same steps on the other end and you'll be networking in no time. You may fail the first time you go ahead and make a cable. That's okay. You're not expected to be an expert right off the bat like yours truly. Then again, the first time I made a cable or two, I kind of failed. So, um, you know, I figured it out. You'll figure it out. It's really easy. And once you set up your, your actual network, you're going to have a field day streaming all kinds of video, audio, and you're going to be thinking, what else could I possibly do to my house? How else can I make my house so much more technologically advanced? And that's why you'll come back to this old nerd, because every week we'll have a new project to show you how you can, you know, check out your house. And you might ask yourself this question, how's your tech life? Mm -hmm.